Hey guys, this is Nick, a member of uh, Team Sauce slash Team Lampshade, and we recently decided we wanted to start a YouTube channel, so I decided that one of the best videos to show you first would be a deck profile of a deck you'll probably be seeing a lot of play of, and like, dual videos and stuff that will probably be coming up in like a week, hopefully. And note, this deck is like 45 cards right now, because of a lot of tech choices and stuff, like, for the format that I think have been working really well. So let's get into it. So we got three Debris Dragons, obviously. It's Debris Dragon. Like, gives you access to pretty much everything you need in the deck. All your dragons, you know, Stardust, Scrap Dragon, all the good stuff. Um, I am still running Quick Draw, just because I think Drill Warrior is too good of a card to pass up. Um, it pretty much is one of those cards where once you get it out, your opponent is slowly just going to die, like... There's so, card, there's so few cards that stop it. You have Solemn Warning, not many other options. And then Lone Fire, obviously, at 2. Get you all your other plants. Um, got Dandelion. Tokens and stuff. Works well with Debris Dragon and Quick Draw. You know, you've seen it all before. Um, one Spore, obviously. It's Spore, lets you go into um, your non dragons and non. Synchron monsters like Colossal and Goyo. Um, one copy plant. Oh, this card just came out. Hopefully, you all know what it does. And it's just amazing. Like, the ability to go into Formula Synchron gives the deck a little bit of a draw engine now, which it never had before. And the fact that you can bring it back again to Synchro just into a second one and then threaten your opponent with Black Rose on their turn or Stardust and stuff, it's amazing. And then Titanial. I hate this card, but you have to be running it, but I can't stand it. I always draw it, and every time I do bring it out, it just gets bottomless, but whatever. And then, I'm still running two hamsters also. Now, a lot of people don't like it, but the best one of the best plays I think opening with this deck is two hamsters, or not two hamsters, a hamster and a Caius. It's like, oh, set hamster, they attack, search your right go, set your right go. Next turn, flip right, go kill a back row, and then tribute for Caius. It's just good plays. Um, three right, go the light sworn problem solver. He's just pretty much your outs to everything because I don't run MST, and there's no heavy anymore, so he's good. And now we have some of my tech choices, which is two snowman eaters. This card is so good; it stops Thunder King. Um, just like your big monsters that like, and he's pretty much like a plus one because. Most likely, he's not going to die when he gets attacked. So you get to keep your monster there and kill theirs. It's just a really good card. And once Gungnir comes out, he'll be even better because you have access to Gungnir then. And just a good card. <clears throat> um, card Trooper. Milling, drawing, good stuff. Then, I run three Caius. I feel like this card's way too good to be ran at two. Its ability to just remove anything is amazing. The 1,000 burn never hurts, and I have had game before just by tributing for Caius and removing himself, so that's good. Sangin searches, like, everything in the deck. Treeborn Frog. This is another tech choice. Now, Treeborn's in here because a lot of the times I have Quick Draw, but I don't have the Dandelion, so he allows you to go into Drill Warrior easier, and he gives you access to 8 stars with Debris better, because you can just go, this comes out. And then go Debris, bring back your Dandelion, go for an 8-star, like Scrap Dragon, and pop off tokens. <clears throat> um, just one effect, Valor. At 2, it's dead too much against a lot of decks. I side into the second one in the Mirror Match to stop Debris and stuff, and Drill Warrior. But at 1 right now, he's been working fine. Um, this is my other tech choice, 2 Thunder Kings. Um, I'm running 2 Thunder Kings because... This deck never really had just a good normal summon monster beat stick. And this is exactly that. You just normal summon at first turn, like, set a back row. Your opponent's already under pressure against the Thunder King. Um, it's really good against, that's like, all matchups almost. The one thing this happens to him all the time is he gets Book of Moon, but... I mean, your opponent is pretty much forced to waste an out on it, because they're not going to be bringing out something that can kill it without special summoning. So, just a really good card, normal summon. I don't know. I like him. Then you got Battle Fader. Another tech choice. Like I said, a lot of tech. Um, two Battle Faders because the ability to go Black Rose and then just know you have Battle Fader there.
to save you if your opponent does have something is amazing. It's also a one star. Um, it allows you to go into Formula Synchron if you need to. Uh, easier access for eight stars. Works well with Quick Draw. Just a good card. And onto the spells. So, one Foolish Burial. That's obvious. Like, that needs no explanation. <laughs> um, only two Book of Moons. I probably should be running three, but with the deck at 45 cards, I really have no space anymore. So, two Book of Moons, one of the most offensive and defensive cards in the game. Just great card. Um, one, one for one. Now that you have uh, copy, or not copy plant, what am I saying? Now that you have glow up bulb, this card is just amazing. It allows you to bring out Spore, it allows me to bring out Treeborn, and discarding Dandelion for it's amazing. You can do the double formula Synchron and like normal summon Sangen. You can now go into Cataster and threaten your opponent with Black Rose, so that's really good. Uh, two Pot of Avarice, three is dead too much, so just two for me. <coughs> um, one Monster Reborn, because you can only run one. The rest are just staples Dark Hole, Giant Trunade, and Cold Wave. Um, now, I only run five traps and two trap stuns, because it's trap stun. It's like a mini Cold Wave. Like, if you read about the Solemn Warning or the Judgment, draw phase, flip trap stun. You don't have to worry about it anymore. The only thing that will really mess you up now is Book of Moon. So that's good. Uh, two Bottomless. This card's too good. It's just like. This card's amazing. If I had Solemn Warnings, I would maybe run them over this. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I don't have them, so it doesn't really matter. And then just one Solemn Judgment. Because it's Solemn Judgment, and it just says no. Um, the extra deck is pretty basic for the deck, I think. I don't know. Um, the one thing is I have two Drill Warriors, and that's just because I don't have a Chevy, or Chevalier de Fleur. So, one of these will come out for a Chevalier when I have it, but I don't right now, because I spent all my money on the Glow Bulb. Um, one Drunk Archer. This card got me game so many times. Like, your opponent had just has a set monster, you, like, Synchro and a Junk Archer, remove your set, attack for game. It's just a really good card. One Junk Destroyer. Um, I wish I had Chevalier to floor more, but he does have his purposes, because he can blow away Mirror Force and stuff, and he can attack over Stardust, so he's good. Uh, Nitro Warrior, just one Nitro Warrior, because, I don't know, another level 7, I guess. He's good. Uh, one Colossal Fighter, just because you can't go into it too much, but it's great to have access to. Same thing for Goyo, but you can only run one Goyo, so, just run it. Um, one Magical Android, this should be a Cataster, but I don't have a Cataster right now, so, it'll work for now. And then, two Black Rose, um... It's Black Rose Dragon, staple, blow the field, get two tokens, yada yada yada. And then, 